been impossible for six months. That's an amazingly long time. We all know it, of course, but you can't downplay that. It's, it's, it's been an extraordinary process to come back to this moment. in the heart of London's King's Cross, preparing for what promises to be a really important milestone for Aurora. The first time we've gathered together as a group to make music together for the last six months, and the first time we think anywhere in the UK that an orchestra has gathered together to perform an entire classical symphony to a paying audience. Later this week, we're going to be performing at the BBC Proms, a wonderful programme that includes Beethoven's Seventh Symphony, performed entirely from memory by the orchestra, uh, and a brand new work by the British composer Richard Ayres. One of the lovely things about performing from memory is that it gives us the opportunity to pop up in unexpected spaces. Um, and we're very, very fortunate that with the partnership of Argent, who own this wonderful space that we're in, uh, and our friends at King's Place, where Aurora is resident orchestra, we've been able to mount a special event this evening which will give a flavour of that BBC Proms concert later in the week to a safely spaced uh, outdoor audience here in the West Handyside canopy. now whatever whatever we are told to play from memory I'm like oh yeah that's fine yeah I got it there's nothing quite like the sound of an orchestra in a space in front of you for all of us music is just a communal thing there's no point in us doing it on our own without an audience there's no sharing of the music to other people and that is so important it's so vital to our music making to be able to communicate